So a uh, quick thing for you guys. Uh, I just got back. I mean, literally just got out of the hospital. Um, I noticed that the air conditioner wasn't cooling the house down and the temperature kept going up, up, up. So I went outside to check the air conditioner, make sure it wasn't all plugged up. And as I'm walking next to the house, there's been a lot of vacations happening this year. So parents, her, my girlfriend's parents haven't been like attending to certain things like you would normally like the weed eating around the house and stuff. And over the last couple months, the weeds have got so tall, they were above my head and they cover like a whole seven to eight foot wide section. So when I went out, I went out with a, a board and I was basically pressing the weeds down across the walkway to get back to the air conditioner. And I got back there and there was vines growing all over it. So I cleared all that off. And then the pipe from the actual air conditioner all the way into the house was just one solid huge chunk of ice. So I figured let everything thaw out, turn everything off for a while. And then uh, I put some postings up on the community page to show you guys what I was working with. And a lot of guys said, let it thaw out. Um, a lot of guys were saying, just let it thaw out, but uh, turn the air conditioner off and turn the fan on to draw that heat across that helped thaw everything out. Well, I went back out a couple hours later, 5.45, almost 6 o'clock, and I'm walking out there to go check the air conditioner again. And I walk through the brush, and then I, I was like, okay, so it's almost all thawed. I turn around and come back, and I'm walking back through the brush. And as I'm getting through the brush, I feel a little, something sting me on the inside of my leg. And I look down, and there's a little yellow bee there, stung me on the inside of my leg. And then all of a sudden, I feel it in my side, so I'm like, ooh, ooh. And I look down, and I've got a bee on my side that stung me. I flick him off, and then I get another sting on the inside of my leg, so... I'm like, ah, no big deal. You know, back when I was a teenager, I'd get stung all the time. Nothing would happen. So I'm standing inside the house uh, about five, ten minutes. And I'm like, man, I'm not allergic to bees, but something's weird. Like, I feel something's off. Like, my fingers are getting tingly, and I've never had a reaction to a bee sting. And then five minutes after that, my lips start swelling, and my face starts swelling. And across, it's still swollen. Um, my lips still feel really tight. My feet start swelling up. I'm like, uh, we got to go to the hospital now. They rush me to the hospital. And by the time I get to the hospital, my breathing has slowed down. My heart is really, it's acting weird. My feet have swelled up so much that I can barely put pressure on them. And I'm starting to not be able to close my hands all the way. So I come back to the house and I want to see where the evaporator's at on the air conditioner. They gave me a shot of uh, Benadryl and some kind of steroid, and it's made me extremely hungry to the point where I feel like I could eat a cow right now. Um, and I come downstairs just now, I pull the filter, the filter's fairly new. And as I'm going to step back and walk away, I'm like, well, wait a second, what is this here? Why is this pushed away from the housing where it normally sits, and the whole entire evaporator is frozen? I know last time this happened, um, when I was down in Louisiana, I had to get access to the inside of this box. And once this panel right here was pulled back, I was able to clean all the debris and stuff on the inside of the box. You see how it's like a, it's a V hole, comes up this way, and then there's another core that comes up this way. It kept freezing up, and I remember there's all kinds of debris in the, the center of the evaporator that was plugging everything up, causing it to freeze. Once I got in there and just washed it out with some warm water, I just kept washing it and washing it and washing it. All of a sudden, everything, uh, just after washing it, started just melting off the evaporator face. And then I never had a freezing problem again. So maybe some of you HVAC techs out there can let me know, is that is that what I'm going to have to do on this one? Do I, do I just pull this pipe here out of the way? Because it's, you know, some screws here, a couple screws here. Just slide this pipe out, slide it up, get it out of the way. And then maybe just take this panel enough to just like slit the Noshua tape. And uh, slide it back some, like out of the way. What's the best way to get inside here in this situation? Because this needs to be all cleaned out inside here, I'm sure. 
air conditioner is fine. Uh, it was just serviced this year recently. The technician came out and actually uh, he serviced everything, made sure everything was topped off, the refrigerant and stuff like that. The air filter is only like less than a week old. I need to get inside here is what I think my next thought is to make sure none of this inside here is plugged up. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure where to go with it, but maybe you guys can point me in the right direction here because that evaporator is frozen solid. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me what I need to do next because obviously something's going on inside this box here. Thanks, guys. This is how swollen my feet were. I could barely put them in my flip-flops. This is one of the spots where I got stung. It inflamed immediately. My lips are all swollen here like I had Botox done. Here's a side shot of the foot where it's so swollen and fat. And then this is me sitting here while I was having a little bit of breathing problems, but I came to within a couple hours after some shots. Now that I've got just the fan on alone, you can see, you can sit here and watch this within moments. It's already thawing everything out. And I've only had it on for maybe two minutes, and it's literally just blasting the ice right off this. So I'll probably leave it on for about 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, unless you guys say it's different. You can just look and see how it's just melting everything away.